This is the Redivis RT97S Portable Repeater. And it comes in two flavors. One flavor tastes like GMRS, the other like DMR, which has a very distinct ham aftertaste. These cost around $350 of monies. Affiliate link below. And they are in my not very humble opinion, the best portable repeaters that you can buy due to the very high buck to the bang ratio. However, one drawback of the RT97 line of portable repeaters and one of the biggest complaints of some people is that these repeaters are not able to send out an automatic self-identification. And some people say that this makes our overlords at the FCC's very, very sad. But let not your heart be troubled, because verily I say unto you that very soon you will be able to purchase one of these. This is the new, in fact, so new that it is not yet even available for purchase, the new repeater ID device, a miracle of modern technologies designed specifically for the Redivis RT97S, Redivis RT97P, and the Midland MXRT portable repeaters. This Pacific one is a pre-production unit that the people at repeaterid.com sent me to test out and give them my feedback. And because this is not yet available for purchase, and because this is a pre-production unit, this video will not be a full review video. For that, I shall wait until the completed shipping version actually ships, which, if all goes well, should be in the next month or so. But irregardlessly of when these miracles of modern technologies finally begin to ship, the cost will be around $75 of monies, repeater not included. And once available for sale, you will be able to purchase one for your RT97 repeater directly from repeaterid.com. This tiny miracle of modern technologies, when connected to your RT97 type repeater, will play a pre-recorded message, typically the call sign being used for your repeater, at preset intervals thereby preventing our overlords at the FCCs from executing a 3 a.m. no-knock raid of your home and potentially shooting your dog. You simply record your audio identification with your favorite recording device, connect the repeater ID to your computing device using a USB cable, and drag and drop your recorded ID file onto the memory banks of the repeater ID device. You then plug the repeater ID into your repeater via the included connecting wire, power it up, and bam! Your repeater will now automatically identify itself like this. This is KDK1 to KDK2. Do you copy? Over. The repeater ID device works pretty much right out of the box, other than the part about recording your ID and copying it over, as previously mentioned. However, for all of you fiddly types, if you crack open the repeater ID device, you will find two dip switches that control how often and when the device automatically transmits your recording. And you will find a volume control for increasing the noise level of the ID recording, should it be necessary. But I did not have to touch any of that stuff. Mine worked perfectly right out of the box. You will also find an ID Now button that, when pressed, forces the device to transmit your recorded message, which makes it very easy for testing or recording a video. When the unit is powered on, you will see the indicator lights, which, as one might guess, indicate what the device is doing at any given moment. The green run light indicates that the device is on, and different blinky patterns indicate its status. The blue busy LED means that the repeater is on and in use, 
and red means that the repeater ID unit is transmitting your pre-recorded audio file. This is a very simple device that does what it does, and it does it very well, and that is pretty much all there is. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, when the final version of this miracle of modern technologies is available for purchase, I will do a full review. So in the meantime, be sure to leave a comment with your first impressions or questions about this new miracle of modern technologies, or just leave a nice comment to brighten someone's day. <laughs>